Welcome back to Data 5. Welcome to Data 5 of this reading. And today we are reading from Deuteronomy chapter 18 to chapter 22. We are reading from Deuteronomy chapter 18 to chapter 22. And I, I am your host. <laughs> your host, sir. No, I want to use that. That makes me sound nervous. I am your host, yes, Stephen, your boy, Stephen. And today we are reading from Deuteronomy chapter 19 to chapter 22. Without wasting much of our time, let's get right into it. Chapter 18. The priests, the Levite, and all the priests, the Levite, there won't be so much noise like yesterday, also. Because today, these people are not around. And I have to read this before they come. The priests, the Levite, all the tribe of Levi, take your Bible. And read along with me. The priest, the Levite, all the tribe of Levi, shall have no part nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of the Lord made by fire and his portion. They therefore, or they shall eat the offerings of the fire of, of the Lord made by fire and his portion. Therefore, they shall have no inheritance among their brethren. The Lord is their inheritance. As he said to them, and this shall be the priest's due from the people, for from who from those who offer a sacrifice, whether it is bull or sheep, they shall give to the priest the shoulder, the cheeks and stomach, the first fruits of your grain and your new wine and your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep you shall give him. For the Lord your God has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand to minister in the name of the Lord. Him and his sons forever. So if a Levite come from any of your gates, from where he dwells among all of you, and comes with all the desire of his mind to, to the place which the Lord chooses, then he may serve in the name of the Lord his God, as all his brethren the Levites do. Who stand there before the Lord? They shall have equal portions to eat, besides what come from the sale of his inheritance. When you come into the land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall, not le you shall not learn to follow the abominations of these nations. They shall not be found among you. Anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices witchcraft, or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead, for all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall, be, you shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you will dispossess, listened to soothsayers and diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for you. The Lord your God, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst. From your brethren, him you shall hear, according to all you desired of the Lord your God in Horeb, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, nor let me see this great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, What they have spoken is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among your brethren, and I will put my words in his mouth, and shall speak to them all that I command him. And it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him, but the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet shall, shall die. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the things does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. Chapter 19 when the Lord your God has cut off the nations whose land the Lord your God has given you, and you dispossess them and dwell in their cities and in their houses, you shall separate three cities for yourself in the midst of your land, which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. You shall prepare roads for yourself and divide into three parts the territory of your land, which the Lord your God is giving you to inherit, that any manslayer may flee there. And this is the case of the manslayer who flees there that he may live. Whoever kills his neighbor unintentionally, not having hated him in time past, as when a man goes to the woods with his neighbor to cut timber, and his hand swings a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree, 
and the head slips from the handle and strikes his neighbor so that he dies. He shall flee to one of these cities and live. Let the avenger of blood, while his anger is hot, pursue the manslayer and overtake him, because the way is long, and kill him. Though he was not deserving of death, since he had not hated the victim in time past. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall separate three cities for yourself. Now if the Lord your God enlarges your territory as he swore to your fathers, and give you the land which he promised to give you, to give your fathers, and give you the land which he promised to give to your fathers, and if you keep all these commandments and do them, which I command you today, to love the Lord your God, and to walk always in his ways, then you shall add three more cities for yourself, besides this, beside this tree, lest innocent blood be shed in the midst of your land, which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance, and thus guilt of blood shed be upon you. But if anyone eats his neighbor, lies in wait for him, rises against him, and strikes him mortally, so that he dies, and he flees to one of these cities, then the elders of his city shall send and bring him from there, and deliver him over to the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Your eyes shall not pity him, but you shall put away the guilt of innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with you. You shall not remove your neighbor's landmark, which the men of old have set, in your inheritance, which you will inherit in the land that the Lord your God is giving you to possess. One witness shall not rise against a man concerning any iniquity or any sin that he commits. By the mouth of two or three witnesses, the matter shall be established. If a false witness rise against any man to testify against him of wrong of wrongdoing, then both men in the controversy shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges who serve in those days. And the judges shall make careful inquiry, and indeed, if the witness is a false witness who has testified falsely against his brother, then you shall do to him as he thought to have done to his brother. You shall put away the evil from among you, and those who remain shall hear and fear, and after and year after, they shall not again commit such evil among you. Your eye shall not pity. Life shall be for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Chapter 20 When you, when you go out to battle against your enemies, and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. So it shall be, when you are on the verge of battle, that the priest shall approach and speak to the people, and shall say to them, Yea, O Israel, today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your hearts faint, do not be afraid, and do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight to fight for you, to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. Then the officers shall speak to the people, saying, What man is there who has built a new house and has not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die. In the battle, and another man dedicates it. Also, what man is there who has planted a vineyard and has not eaten of it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man eat of it. And what man is there who is, who, is who is betrothed to a woman and has not married her? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and, and another man marry her. The officers shall speak further to the people and say, What man is there who is fearful and faint hearted? Let him go and return to his house lest the earth of his brethren faint like his earth. And so it shall be, when the officers have, spin have finished speaking to the people, that they shall make captains of the armies to lead the people. When you go near a city to fight against it, then proclaim an offer of peace to it. And it shall be that if they accept your offer of peace and open to you, then all the people who are found in it shall be placed under tribute to you and serve you. Now, if the city will not make peace with you, but war against you, then you shall besiege it. And when the Lord your God delivers it into your hands, you shall strike every male in it with the edge of the sword. But the women, the little ones, the livestock, and all that is in the city, all its spoil, you shall plunder for yourself, and you shall eat the enemy's plunder which the Lord your God gives you. Thus you shall do to all the cities which are very far from you, which are not of the cities of these nations, but of the cities of those people of these people which the Lord your God gives you as an inheritance, you shall let nothing that breathes remain alive. You shall, but you shall utterly destroy them, the Hittites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Avite and the Jebusites, just as the Lord your God has commanded you. Lest they teach you to do according to all their 
abominations which they have done for their gods, and you sin against the Lord your God. When you besiege a city for a long time, while making war against it to take it, you shall not destroy its trees by building an axe against them. If you can eat of them, do not cut them down to use it in the siege. For the tree of the feed is man's food. Only the trees which you know which you know are not trees for food, you may destroy and cut down to build siege works against the city that makes war with you until it is subdued. Chapter 21 If anyone is found slain, lying in the field, in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess, and it is not known who killed him, then your elders and your judges shall go out and measure the distance from the slain man to the surrounding cities, and it shall be that the elders of the city nearest to the slain man will take a ephah which has not been worked, which has not been worked, and which has not pulled with a yoke. The elders of that city shall bring the ephah down to a valley with flowing water, which is neither ploughed nor sown, and they shall break the ephah's neck there in the valley. Then the priest, the son of Levi, shall come near, for the Lord your God has chosen them to minister to him and to bless him and to bless in the name of the Lord. By their word, every controversy and every assault shall be settled. And all the elders of that city nearest to the slain man shall wash their hands over the Ava whose neck was broken in the valley. Then they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, nor have our eyes seen it. Provide atonement, O Lord, for your people, Israel, whom you have redeemed, and do not lay innocent blood to the charge of your people, Israel, and atonement shall be provided on their behalf for the blood. So you shall put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you when you do what is right in the sight of the Lord. When you go out to war against your enemies, and the Lord your God delivers them into your hand, and you take them captive, and you see among the captives a beautiful woman, and desire her, and will take her for your wife, then you shall bring her home to your house, and she shall shave her head and trim her nails. She shall put off the clothes of her captivity, remain in your house, and mourn her father and her mother a full month. After that, you may go into her and be her husband, and she shall be your wife. And it shall be, if you have no delight in her, then you shall set her free, but you certainly shall not sell her for money. You shall not treat her brutally, because you have humbled her. If a man has two wives, one loved and the other unloved, and they have born him children, both the loved and the unloved, and if the firstborn, and if the firstborn son is of her who is unloved, then it shall be on the day he bequeaths his possessions to his sons, that he must not bestow firstborn status on the son of the loved wife in preference to the son of the unloved, the true firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the unloved wife as the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he has, for he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. If a man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and who, when they have just when they have chastened him, will not eat them. Then his father and his mother shall take hold of him and bring him out to the elders of the city, to the elders, to the gate of his city. The, this son of ours is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey you. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. <laughs> so you shall put away the evil from among you, and all Israel. Shall eat, shall hear and fear. If a man has committed a sin deserving of death and is put to death, and you hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain overnight on the tree, but you shall bury him that day, so that you do not defile the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. For he who is hanged is a cost of God. Chapter 22 You shall not see your brother's ox or his sheep going astray, and hide yourselves from them. You shall certainly bring them back to your brothers. And if your brother is not near you, or if you do not know him, then you shall bring it to your own house, and it shall remain with you until your brother seeks it. Then you shall restore it to him. You shall do the same with his donkey, and so shall you do with his garments. With any lost thing of your brothers, which he has lost, and you have found, you shall do likewise. You must not hide yourself. You shall not see your brother's donkey or his ox fall down along the road and hide yourself from them. You shall surely help him lift them up again. A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment 
for all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. If a bird's nest happen to be before you along the way, in any tree or on the ground, with young ones or eggs, with the mother sitting on the young or on the eggs, you shall not take the mother with the young. You shall surely let the mother go and take the young for yourself, that it may be well with you and that you may prolong your days. When you build a new house, then you shall make a parapet for your roof, that you may not bring guilt of bloodshed on your household if anyone falls from it. You shall not sow your vineyard with different kinds of seed, lest the yield of the seed, lest the yield of the seed which you have sown and the fruit of your vineyard be defiled. You shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. You shall not wear a garment of different sorts, such as wood and lining mixed together. You shall make tassels on the four corners of clothing which you cover with which you cover yourself. If any man takes a wife and goes into her and detests her and charges her with shameful conduct and brings a bad name on her and says, I took this woman and when I came to her, I found she was not a virgin. Then the father and mother of the young woman shall take and bring out the evidence of the young woman's virginity to the elders of the city at the gate. And the young woman's father shall, take, shall say to the elders, I give my daughter to this man as wife and I detests her. Now, he has charged her with shameful conduct, saying, I found your daughter was not a virgin, and yet these are the evidence of my daughter's virginity, and they shall spread the clothes before the elders of the city. Then the elders of the city shall take that man and punish him, and they shall find and they shall find him one hundred shekels of silver, and give them to the father of the young woman, because he has brought a bad name on a virgin of Israel, and she shall be his wife, and shall be his wife. He cannot divorce her all his days. But if the sin is true and evidences of virginity are not found for the young woman, then they shall bring out the young woman to the door of her father's house, and the men of our city shall stone her to death with stones, because she has done a disgraceful sin in Israel to play the harlot in her father's house. So you shall put away the evil from among you. If a man is found lying with a woman married to a husband, then both of them shall die. The man that lay with the woman and the woman. So you shall put away the evil from Israel. If a young woman who is a virgin is betrothed to a husband, and a man finds her in the city and lies with her, then you shall bring them both out to the gate of that city, and you shall stone them to death with stones. The young woman, because she did not cry out in the city, and the man, because young with his neighbor's wife, so you shall put away the evil from among you. But if a man finds a betrothed young woman in the countryside, and the man forces her and lies with her, then only that man who lay with her shall die. But you shall do nothing to the young woman. There is in the young woman no sin, deserving of death. For just as when a man rises against his neighbor and kills him, even so is this matter. For he found her in the countryside, and the betrothed young woman cried out, but there was no one to save her. If a man find the, finds a young woman who is a virgin, who is not betrothed, and he seizes her and lies with her, and they are found out, then the man who lives with her shall give to the young woman's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he has humbled her. He shall not be permitted to divorce her all his days. A man shall not take a man shall not take his father's wife, nor uncover his father's bed. The end of today's reading. That was kind of fast. I don't know, but it's intimate. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please, tomorrow, tomorrow that's Friday. Yeah. I might not be around so make sure you take your bible and read it and when i can i'll post the video for friday and saturday and sunday and whatever days i missed uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye